wandering one. How can I help you? Allow this heart to beat again. Quench their thirst. You stand before the goddess statues. Jula, Althena. Texts say the goddesses sacrificed themselves to defeat Althena. The one in the center is the goddess if your part if you are repeatedly depending on her grace. You found Lucane, but he was dead. All right. Shall we? All right. You found Lucane, but he was dead. You imagine the fairy will be overcome. May I help you? What would you like? You found Lucane, but he was dead. You imagine the fairy will be overcome with grief, but you need to return to her. When you enter the laboratory, the fairy frantically flits around you, as if it senses your uneasiness. Upon seeing Lucane's bones, the fairy enters into a panic. She begins tugging at your arm to get you to leave the tower. The fairy is apparently attempting to lead you somewhere. You collect Lucane's bones and follow her. As you enter, a kindly voice echoes from the back. You seem to be in need of help, a monk says, and approaches you. You nervously hand the monk the bones of Lucane. Allow this heart to beat again. Quench their thirst. Lead the wandering soul back. Reverse death and awaken them. The prayer reaches the goddess, and the pile of bones is once again given flesh. Lucane, shocked to find himself alive, thanks you profusely. He tells you to visit him at his laboratory and leaves. The resurrected magician has returned to the old tower in town. You decide to see him, to ask more details. The magician Lucane is waiting for you in the laboratory of the old tower. It seems that dying had an adverse effect on his short-term memory. Lucane can't remember why he went to meet Wallace. Lucane is researching magic called runes, which are closely tied to spirits and fairies. 
Lucane introduces his fairy friend to you. Her name is Tiki. She left the fairy forest due to her strong curiosity. He thanks you again for saving him and allowing him to enjoy life's rich pageant. He displays his magic trinkets. Lucane says he'd be happy to sell you these items at a fraction of the normal price and answer any questions you have. What will you ask? The magician Wallace was an old friend of Lucane's. He was known as a great magician. He sealed that group, or myopia, of cyclopes in a labyrinth and saved the land. He also mentored young magicians in his tower. He was also the king's trusted advisor. And Lucane trails off. It seems that Lucane's memory has failed him again. Before you realize it, Tiki is following you around. She seems to have taken a liking to you. She will accompany you on your adventures henceforth. Fairies are known to be adept at finding hidden things. A letter from the castle has come to you via the guild. It simply says to report to the castle in all haste. Hmm, you're back. You assume that the letter was sent by the Prime Minister. Perhaps he has another request for you. Count Dean is waiting for you at the throne room. It is he who sent the letter. After your previous encounter, you can only assume that he's up to something nefarious. You brace for combat. The guards have drawn their swords and are blocking the exit. Count Dean starts talking to you in a soft voice. He says that he has personally requested your assistance in performing a task for him. He wants you to scout Bilberon Fortress on the border. This underground fortress is a well-known structure. Originally built to defend against the Orc army, it now lies in Orc hands. Scout them and learn their invasion routes. It is a very dangerous mission, but refusal means that you will be at the mercy of Dean's guards. You accept. Per Count Dean's request, you agreed to infiltrate and surveil the subterranean fortress at the country's border. presently controls Bilberon, the underground fortress built into the canyon. The king's army has been mounting a fierce offensive to try and reclaim the fortress. Step into the enemy kitchen. 
a corpulent chef grabs a goblin instead of meat and suddenly stops. The cook, sensing your presence, stares directly at you. Luckily, her sight's not so keen, so she doesn't notice you. Eventually, the chef returns to her meat cutting. You use the goblin's screams to mask your escape. Doesn't look like it would give way Super. unless you bombed it. Let's see. 
done. of the stairs is an area connected to the sewers. This seems your most likely escape route.
sewer's filth. The reconnaissance mission went well. You gathered intel and slipped back across enemy lines. Among the treasures you claimed is the great sword of the hero Javelin. You succeeded in acquiring intel on the underground fortress. This job will be completed once you report to Count Dean.